We are here at Project Blow Your Mind. We're actually standing right next to the elevator shaft. Here behind me you can see this is the stairwell. So one detail that's pretty neat, we have this structural component which is the board form concrete poured in place and we have a floating staircase that wraps all the way around that board form concrete column down to the basement. Additionally, you can see this massive full height window. This window goes right here from floor height all the way up to the second story. We have a fun area, so we're gonna to talk to, about that a little bit. So this elevator is a little, I don't wanna say tricky, but it's custom designed for the client. Because really, this elevator has three access points. Um, typically, most elevators, as we know, there's one door, right? You come in this door, you go up to the next level, you come out the same door out. But because of the design of this house, you actually have to access, enter and exit this elevator on three different sides, depending on what floor you're on. So here, on the main floor, the single level floor, you're gonna access the elevator as you normally would, this way. As you go down to the basement, it has two access. You have an access that way, which is underneath the floor here because we have some storage back in here. So there's some cold storage, um, seasonal stuff, food storage, right, decor can all be done. So really it's a, essentially a cargo elevator that it comes in, you bring it down, you unload it. You also have an access point this way, similar to this floor. The reason being you have the basement down here. So you have the game room, you have the dollhouse and some great features. And so you have that access point. Now, one of the changes, and this is really important, right? Clients, as you start working through design and detail, you know, ideas come up, uh, changes need to be made in the field, and this is where it's really important to understand um, the lifestyle of your client, how they'll be using the home, and how we can alter that design. So you'll see here that we already have trusses up above us, so we're doing a truss modification because we have a third, uh, a second story, so a third level here, and up there is gonna be a game room for the kids, right? And so we thought about, well, how do you get furniture up there? You know, they have some amazing crawl spaces throughout part of the house. It's a great design element to the house. They have the natural light here with this window that goes all the way up. How do you get furniture up? So we said, okay, let's do a truss modification. We'll change the roof design. We'll build this shaft all the way up now. And then we'll have to access the third side. So that elevator is gonna have to access this way to get to the third floor. So there'll be accident to the left, to the right, and then straight on. And so again, working with our elevator company, working with our client, working with our structural engineers, and of course our designer and architect, we can achieve the goals of our client, make it work. Uh, but again, this three-sided elevator is gonna be incredible. So stay tuned as this uh, gets near installation.